Good morning everybody, how are you today? Look at this glorious day we've got today. It was 34 degrees under this veranda yesterday. They've told us it'll be a bit cooler today. We're uh, getting ready to uh, do a charge controller test for you. Now I was going to do uh, three charge controllers. Unfortunately I'm still missing one in the post. So I'm going to go ahead and do the video with two charge controllers um, and we'll explain the video as we go through it. Now I was going to use three solar panels, I went up to Perth and got three of these solar panels off Silvio. Okay, well, let's get it in the light a bit better. There you go. Sorry for the shadow there, but all right. The other two panels are sitting over here. Uh, also, I promised one subscriber I would show him this little 48 volt to 24 volt step down unit is still working great there it is there what does that run well that runs all my 12 volt lights um, my backup lights in here these two lights out here uh, these lights out here which come on automatically uh, my 12 volt system runs through that switchboard there that's covered in spider webs and spiders And it also uh, runs this little 150 watt 12 volt inverter. Um, so that powers this little box, this little um, plug thing here. And that in turn runs my industrial computer. And this big screen and that keyboard and mouse and that industrial computer um, basically runs my whole system and uploads all the live information to my live website which if you look at the top of my YouTube channel at the header there's a link to my live view this runs all that as well okay so I'm going to get set up now for this test and um, I'll put a clock on the table hopefully we get to get to get there around nine o'clock uh, uh, it's ten past eight yeah we got plenty of time okay we've got everything set up I've just got to plug the solar into this end here but everything is set up the first charge controller I'm testing is under this piece of paper. You just will not get to see what it is in this video. Okay. Um, interesting enough, this little pure sine wave inverter is self-consuming um, an amp with this little red switch here. I haven't turned the fans on. Oh, that's me, the fan we take camping with us, by the way. Um, why? Well, because it's got a timer on it, and I can put that up on the step to the tent and turn it on and set the timer, and by the time we're asleep, it turns off. Totally brilliant little fan. Anyway, uh, I've got the fans for loads, so I'm going to plug the, so the solar in and then turn the fans on. Okay, both the fans are on high, this little one here and that one over there they're drawing eight amps seven eight amps thereabouts you can see that the power going into the battery is 4.87 the power coming out of the solar panel is 4.9 4.8 
The battery said, well, you can see it all there. You don't need me to go through it and explain it. And, uh, sorry, the time. And the panel is in the sun. Is it pointing to the sun? Let me check. Yes, it's pointing to the sun and it's in the sun. Okay. Input. Charge controller. Output. Load. So, what is it? MPPT or pulse width modulated or PWM. Okay, this is the second charge controller. There's the time. Okay, the loads, the fans are on, still all on high. There's the loads. Okay. That's the output of the charge controller. That's the input of the charge controller. Okay, you follow the cable out to the solar panel. Okay. Input. It goes up to the charge controller and it comes out. Output. Load. All right, so what sort of charge controller is that? Pulse width modulated or MPPT?